Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to our first keynote speaker, Mr. Manuel Mani Mogato. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy today I'm uh, with fellow journalists. And uh, I was once like you guys sitting there, also a student and campus uh, journalist. I began when I was in high school uh, at uh, Bimapa High School in Manila. So what is in investigative journalism? No? What the importance of in, uh, investigative journalism is you should be reporting about public interest and the accountability of officials, not only the government, but even the big business. Because even our big corporations, even multinational corporations, are guilty sometimes of wrongdoings. No? Uh, sometimes they are uh, causes of disasters or some, uh, some problems in society, pollution. So we hold them accountable. No? That is the importance of public, uh, public of investigative journalism. You, know, you hold the officials, the powers that be, accountable, and it is actually for public interest what you're doing. So your reporting is not favoring any, any, anyone, any party, any party or any sector, but it's for the good of everyone. So the problem now is how do powers that be counter our work as journalists and as investigative uh, reporting? No? They do now a lot of propaganda and false reporting. So starting in 2016, when Donald Trump was elected president in the U.S., there is an explosion of false information. Fake news, yung alam yung fake news na spreading in social media. That is how uh, governments are trying to fight back and discredit uh, journalism, discredit journalists, so that the public uh, will not believe in what they're reporting. So there was a study in November uh, 2017 and also last year that shows that most governments uh, around the world are manipulating social media, you know? uh, manipulating Twitter, manipulating Facebook uh, to hijack the public opinion to favor their uh, narratives. You know? This is a survey by the Freedom House in Washington, D.C. It's called the Freedom of uh, the Net. Maybe you can, you can search it in Google, uh, the whole report, so that you can find out that uh, some of the countries, especially China and Russia, are guilty of manipulating the social media to pay for their opinions or their policies and to uh, deceive a lot of people. So based again on the Freedom of the Net survey, uh, there were 65 countries that were surveyed and 26, sub, uh, 26 countries had an overall decline since June 17 of uh, freedom of the internet. It should be na na control the government. No? So, sometimes the media itself is to be blamed for the spread of false information or fake news. How does this happen? Uh, Claire Walder of uh, First Drop in Harvard, New York, in Harvard, uh, U.S., in Boston, uh, developed a uh, diagram called the Trumpet of public Amplification. Uh, fake news or false information starts <coughs> from an anonymous website. Accuracy, fairness, and impartiality. When you follow these three principles, accuracy, 
fairness at impartiality, it leads to a code of ethics ng mga journalist. No? So, hindi na baling mahila ka sa bulat kasi in a, in a way, over time, nag improve ang writing mo. No? As long as accurate ka, parehas ka, at hindi ka bias. Yun ang tatandaan natin lagi. No? The, per, the first uh, three principles in journalism. Fairness, accuracy, and impartiality. And as a journalist, especially in doing uh, investigative journalism, investigative reporting, what is important is truth-telling. Show, don't tell. Ano yung sabihin nito? Pag sinayin mo na ito yung facts, you are not just showing it by, te by telling it. No? You have to make the, and show the evidence. Ano talaga yung nangyari? No? Hindi lang basta sabi-sabi, kundi may ebidensya. No? May, may source ka nagsasabi na ito yung nangyari. Hindi lang basta narinig ko, kundi may ebidensya. So show, not tell. And pag sinabing bulletproofing, uh, we have to tell the readers or our audience that what we know and what we do not know. No? Pag ala, kung may isang issue, ito lang yung alam namin, eh hindi namin alam kung ano pa yung ibang nangyari. So, truthfulness, no? it builds a lot of credibility for a journalist. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tandaan natin, journalism is accuracy, fairness, at impartiality. Pag gumagawa ka ng investigative reporting, show, not tell. And, bulletproofing, tell, what you, uh, tell us what you know and tell us what you don't know. Honesty. And number one also, yung sa eskwelahan na tinuturo sa inyo is objectivity. Hindi na po uso ngayon yan. Ang uso ngayon is transparency. Because most of the Media organizations are owned by politicians and businessmen. So may mga, pa, may mga interest yan. So we always tell our readers or our audience na kunyari, eh, nasa Channel 5 ako, na ang may-ari niyan ay si Manny Pangilinan when reporting about their companies. No? So transparency is also another important principle in journalism. So thank you very much and good morning.